Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and a few days ago I made a video discussing Black Ops 4 and the console exclusivity agreement, and if you want to go check out that video, I'll have a link down below for you guys, but basically if you don't know, a few days ago when Treyarch officially made the announcement for Black Ops 4, David Von De Hart changed his Twitter profile picture to the Xbox Live avatar of himself, and this really stirred the pot with everyone, including myself, because a lot of people were saying that this means Xbox Live is going to have the rights when it comes to DLC over Sony, which I'm not going to entirely rule out, but the chances of it happening though are pretty dang slim, especially now after a few tweets I'm going to read off on screen for you guys, and I wish I could have caught these as soon as Black Ops 4 was first announced, but over on Twitter there were a few Sony PlayStation Twitter accounts promoting the name reveal of BO4. For example, PlayStation retweeted Activision's post saying that Black Ops 4 is coming on October the 12th, which is pretty standard, yeah I'll say that, but on PlayStation UK, they made their own promotional tweet as well basically by tweeting the forget what you know slogan and then information about the community reveal event and the date the game launches and also PlayStation Australia made the same tweet as well kind of similar but when it comes down to the Xbox Twitters there is literally nothing that promotes the reveal or let alone the launch of the game like for example the at Xbox Twitter just said hype level 4 out of 4 there is nothing in that tweet that says check out the reveal event on the 17th of May and also also something you may want to note is on the Xbox Twitters, they tweeted this a day after the reveal took place, which I find to be pretty dang odd. Now when you go to PlayStation Middle East, which I wasn't even sure existed, but it does, shout out to you guys over there, but the Twitter account posted their own promotional tweet in Arabic, and this Southern Texas boy can't read no Arabic, so I went to the translator option, and after reading it, I really do feel that Sony was able to re-sign the deal with Activision, but the tweet says, forget all you know, join us in the launch event for the fourth part of the Black Ops series on May 17th and wait for the global launch of the game on October 12th, 2018. And when I read join us, like it really does sound like Sony is going to be the ones that are sponsoring the event. They're going to be right there with us. So that's why I do believe that Sony is able to retain the rights. But as for why Vaughn changed his Twitter pick, I mean, you got me. I do want to believe that there is a hidden message behind this for sure because of course it's Vaughn and a lot of things he does has some kind of meaning to it for sure but for this one I really can't put my finger on it because he only left it up for a few hours and now he's completely blacked out his Twitter account like the guy just went AWOL so I don't know, maybe Xbox will get the DLC at the same time as Sony, but still there hasn't been any other type of clues or hints that kind of point towards this. So again, I really do feel that Sony was able to retain the rights after reading these tweets, especially the Arabic tweet for sure. But uh, I mean, I want to believe I really, really do that Xbox and PlayStation will get DLC at the same exact time. But looking at the options that Activision has been dealt with, it really does seem like they were able to re-sign with Sony, but I don't know guys. We'll see what happens guys but there's a very 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 good chance that Sony resigned for another three years but looking at the marketing point of view Sony is honestly the right way to go but we should find out at the reveal in a few months here but my money is that Sony has resigned with Activision tell me your thoughts about this down below guys also drop a like if y'all did enjoy and thank you for watching until next time I'll see you later